neither aiming at originality of principle or sentiment, nor yet copied from any particular previous writing. It was intended to be an expression of the American mind, and to give to that expression the proper tone and spirit called for the occasion. We are in the very midst of revolution, the most complete, unexpected, and remarkable of any in the history of the world. Every post and every day rolls in upon us independence like a torrent. Our obligations to our country never cease, but with our lives. We must all hang together, or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. Why is it we hesitate? For God's sake, let us come to the final separation. The birthday of the new world is at hand. The tree of liberty is watered with the blood of patriots and tyrants both. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another. And to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men, that all men, that all men are created equal. That they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends. It is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and institute new government. Laying its foundations on such principles and organizing its powers in such form. As to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate that government long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. And accordingly, all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpation pursuing invariably the same object, evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism. It is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for the future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies. And such is now the necessity which constrains them to alter their former systems of government. We Therefore, the representatives of the United States of America, in general Congress, assembled, appealing to the Supreme Judge of the world for the rectitude of our intentions, do in the name and by authority of the good people of these colonies, solemnly publish and declare that these United Colonies are, and of right, ought to be free and independent states. That they are absolved from all allegiance to the British Crown and that all political connection between them and the state of Great Britain is and ought to be totally dissolved. And as free and independent states, they have full power to levy war, conclude peace, contract alliances, establish commerce, and to do all other acts and things which independent states may of right do. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence. We mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor.
Why so large, Mr. Hancock? So that Fat George can read it all the way from London without using his spectacles. <laughs> <laughs> On this day, we light a great torch of freedom. Huzzah! I am an American. I, 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 we are Americans. Our citizenship in the United States is our national character. Our citizenship in any particular state is only our local distinction. By the latter, we are known at home. By the former, to the world. Our great title is America.